What's up YouTube and welcome back to another Hawkwood Legacy and today we're gonna continue where we left off in the last video we do a lot of thing like let me remember uh, explore uh, explore a new we take a trial the, the second trial second if I remember yeah second trial it was a decent fight wow I don't know how I still survive with the trial, but I don't care. I've survived, and the second part is we increase more in the room requirement for bees, and we learn about breeding. You know, making a baby, and in that regard, we have it take me a long time to wait until the the process is done. So yeah, I guess I hope this time there is no more waiting. Just head on so i don't know what gonna happen next so we don't want to chit chat let's just get going okay before we start as always let's see what we got mm. uh. oh new technique sure 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 new technique meet sebastian okay okay can i just teleport it Where is the hell is Sebastian? No, cannot teleport it. Why is that? Now you give me information. Okay, see, the room is requirement is now getting bigger. So, mm -hmm. let's go and see Sebastian. Sebastian. Sebastian <sighs> So he gonna give me a new technique Okay, now I can fast travel to him Guys, I'm pretty much lazy to walk all the way Yes, the answer is yes. I can just teleport Teleport is good just fast travel that just waste and not waste any time is a good timing okay where are you sebastian where are you me, me boy me boy way over there where are you sebastian what the hell? What the hell? You, you make me go in circle? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Why you make me go in circle, bro? <laughs> what the? What the what the what the hell? What the what the what the hell? Okay, Sebastian, where are you, man? Hello? Revelio. Is that it? <gasps> I've been what? I've been waiting for you for a very long time. Me precious. Okay. Let's go. Where are you, Sebastian? Wait. Yes. Let's wait. You're here. Brilliant. There is a fast driver here. Why? Have... I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. 
He's this way. Lead the way, bro. Just lead the way. Keep Boy. an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a oh. nuisance. This is a Fabridian area? Forbidden area. Isn't it? Bro. There he is. Good luck. Anamas! What are you doing here? Um, I have some word to talk to you. Can you listen? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that? He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Um, are you curious about what inside? I understand your caution. Mm. Concussion. Concussion, concussion. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory. Get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. <laughs> Easy. I hope I... We don't regret this. Sebastian! Yeah. Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. I see what I need to do. Incendium! Heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. Anything? Anything? Wait, 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 wait. If my brain is tied together, good friend. Ah, something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Ah, 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 ha, ha, ha. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. My favorite no too, bro. Come on, that was a good one. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. A journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me? Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's oh, why bro. I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. God damn it. Do I have to fight? Is this a fight style game? Day? Oh, whatever. Um, no, why I keep confused pressing button? Um, 
I think we need to go in the fight, so yeah. Do I? Can bring that. Hmm. This pile of rubble. Bombarder. Okay, that's not working. Maybe. Repulsor. Rebellion. Ah, I see. Am I correct, please? Repairer. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Revelio. The voice is ancient, sinister. Okay. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Second and third. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, sorry about that, sir, but. I need to change it. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Do I have to Between fight Between the two of us? I... Never mind. Do I have to fight There's Snake? No clear way Revelio! Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be... Shit. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one... Sorry, 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 sorry. God damn it! Pressing, press, blah blah. Incendio. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Rebellion. This place is dark as hell. How do I see? God damn it! How do I see? Lumos. Ah. Rebellion. Is that the other side? Lumos. Yes. Incendio. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Mm-hmm. Poor Aunt Noctua. The dial requires focus. Aunt Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. What? What do I have to do? That didn't sound good. Whoa. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Okay. Good for you. Oh, wrong button. Uh, okay. Come on, any information? Puzzle element, maybe, probably. I have no idea. Am I that stupid or what? Maybe I am that stupid. Okay, I see uh, what the code is. Come on. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself. Are you Lumos sure? First. <laughs> I did all nice of work. that. God damn it. Okay, next puzzle. Mm. It's shaped like an arrow, but we will figure it out. 
We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Revelio. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All Do I, I heard was rewards. Keep going. Do I have to interact with the same snake? Ah. Um. Let's try this one. In circle and infinity. Another game. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in the mirror, Sebastian. Woo! That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Nice work indeed. I have to do everything. You guys just sit back and just relax. Incendio. Ah, I know this one. I Ominous. Need... Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world. This always. must be the last one. Lumos. That I need to keep my eyes on. Okay, this one. Um, shit like a ribbon and a triangle thingy. Okay. Shit like a ribbon and a triangle thingy. Where is it? Another. Not the welcoming sword, was it? Yes! Yes! We're getting somewhere. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos! Are you sure? To get this technique, I have to do a lot of things. God damn it. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. Revelli. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. The gates! Oh. Oh, sorry about that, Sebastian. I need to change my ability. I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Okay. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. Crowded. She mentions being trapped here. Curse. Blocked by curse. an unforgivable curse. Seal. curse. curse seal. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. Wait, sorry about that again. Um. Hey, no. Just pressing the button. What to do? It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, Crucio. the door will open. Crucio. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? I rather you ask him. I ask him. You know him better than I do. Very well. Wish me luck. Wish we had some liquid luck. Ominous, I know this is the last thing you want to do. Yes, it is. I thought you knew me better. But this is different. Whoever you cast it upon would have agreed to it first. It wouldn't be an innocent victim. We have to open the door. The spell won't work unless you mean it. That's true of all unforgivables. If it must be done, then one of you must cast it. Okay. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, 
yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. Um, very well. I don't want to learn that. Um, I want, I want to learn trust you, but you must cast on me. Teach me the curse, the Christus curse, and I cast it on you. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio. Crucio. Hold on as long as you can. I don't know what I choose is right. Eh, no, 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 no. Curse you. I don't ready? know. I'm ready. Curse you. Rebellion. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, let me explore a little bit before we tackle what we need to find. There is a lot of things we need to find. First up is drinking some water. Wow, that's a lot of note. Oop. Oop. I guess that's it. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. Yes. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Yes. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I Rebellion. owe Rebellion. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Okay. Travel. How unfortunate. Ominous, about your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. You're welcome, bro. That's what friends for. All right. Wow, that's like quest was really painful, but yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. There is new new thing here. Yeah, let's move on. Alrighty then. Next stop. Where is it? Next stop is really far away. 
the land of far far away at least i have this fast travel unlock so i don't have to fly all the way over there that's far away so let's moving on with the story i've always said that travel broadens the mind yeah don't care Wow. This is far. At least. Okay. Any what you call it? What I call it? Before we a a a a a a a. Here here. At least we open a pathway. Before we go out there. At least I don't know. Open the fast travel, open a, uh, a road of salvation. This place has seen better days. I don't know, bro. Every place is see better day. Okay, let's go. This place gonna give me a heebie jeebies. I don't think I have to go that. I don't know. I can use my red wing to red wing. <laughs> High wing. I forgot this quest is all about what? Wait. Is High wing alright? Natty told me what the two of you did. She's okay, I guess. She's okay. High wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But... At the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Uh, 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 uh. Your secret's safe with me. That sounds surprises. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after High Wing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? <laughs> this way. Supply! 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 Puppy! Puppy! I get it some supply. Are you like it? A centaur. Tread carefully. Okay. What? That? An entire castle to roam, yet you Why choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers. We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. Cantaurus! Yes, that's what I can try to say. I forgot. <laughs> He was certainly a charmer. <laughs> that could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? 
I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I don't get it. Actually, I don't get it. anything. Anything what you say, I don't know. I just want to blam, bam, bam, boom, 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 kaboom. That's the third time I've seen a dog bog behave that violently. It what seems that a lot of beasts are more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. What it's the hell? Like something in the water. What the hell? What? You get me on guard. Supply, puppy. Supply. Come on. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Yeah, why exactly? Don't do that, please. I let that. Okay, what is it? Rebellion. What do you want me to do? What what do you want me the hell to do? Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? I don't know, brother. Uh, excuse me. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Yep. What? My supply is full. God damn it. Revelio. Money, money is good. Money is good. Money is best. Pelt. Poor beasts. Oh man, I hate those guys. Kill the beast for no reason. <laughs> hey, hey. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. Mm. I should tell Poppy about it. Mm, suspicious. Don't connect with the goblin, please. I don't like fight those tiny Anything weed. interesting? Yes, I found a goblin stuff. Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. Mm. I don't have a good feeling about this. You? I don't. I feel something bad is going to happen. Did goblin and poacher interests align. I don't know, bro. Everything Look, is down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good idea. Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Oh, I hate this place. I, I hate doing this. Really hate it. Really hate it. I really hate it doing this. Because I have to sell. Okay, okay. Okay, slow and steady. God damn it. God damn it, so many of them. Gah! Nothing to poach in Aaron's here except spiders. Not worth the trouble if you have to come out before I find you. Shh, quiet, quiet. I heard something. Okay. Oh, well. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's try this for once. Shall we finish what we started? God damn it! Now you're just getting on my. Get away! I know it! 
I know it, they're gonna find me eventually. Merlin, you think they were guarding the minister for magic himself? What is going on here? Only one way to find out. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Now I've broken the goddamn bridge. Let me repair it first. Repair it. Okay, why are you doing that? I have this, why I don't use this? This is a new technique. Um, that's why. Alright, brother. I thought I knew it, I gonna break the stealth. I don't like stealth. Sometimes I really good at stealth, sometimes don't good on stealth. But I try. Hello, knock knock. What in Merlin's name? What the you? What the you? What the you? Dragon? Whoa, 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 this is. This is shoot. Now what? It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Oh, uh, this time we have to do a proper stealth. I hope I can nail that. Don't know what Victor was thinking, striking a bargain with him. Shh. Oh, there's no Dallas. Shut up. Revenio. Oh, I have to take him down. This is not good at all. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they Shit. say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Hookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. God damn it. Wizard kind will pay for what they've done. Can I Revelio. One foot in front of the next and quiet as can be. 
I try to do quiet, just shut up. Sorry, Papi, I don't like this to be angry. I don't know why. I want to stay quiet, but is it possible? I can just move if I want to. My eager to fight them is really strong. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's keep the torch, shall we? Okay, time for fight. Let's go! The sound is really loud! Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Oh, you give me supply. You give me supply. Rebellion! Okay, okay. You supply me something. Aloha Mora. Hello, Amora. Ah, ha, ha. No lock can hold me. I'm a good with picking lock. Lock pick. Who is dragon it? All right, I have the egg. Ready. The elements Rebellion. of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Element of surprise. Let's go. This took you for a troll the other day. Careful! Rangrover 1 is being attacked! <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
died. Come on, come on. Arrest on momentum. Die, die, die. We don't have time. We need to free her now before more show up. Yes, 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 yes. Compulsive. Arrest on momentum. What do I have? Um. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Aim for the ring at the front of her strings. Um. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. Oh boy. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. Should we return it to the dragon? I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Okay. What should we do with the egg? Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? <laughs> I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Mm. Do you want... Do you think the poachers will retell, retell? Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It would be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. Uh, where I go, everything was trying to kill me, okay? I'm a bigger tiger than everything. Okay, let's get out of here. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Okay. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Okay. I think mean, you can do that. I don't know you can do that. All right then, that's why we go the double boo. Okay, no quest. Any call? Come on, any call. I know you would love to make call. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Any more? Is that it? Okay. What do I have to do?
the complete the field guide page in the underground harbor complete a field guide page from the book of what are you serious how do i i yeah yeah hi yeah oh you already give me pink point okay thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you very much let's just first server here good i thought i not gonna i thought i'm not gonna what do you call it look on the internet and you really should look into gillyweed although i still need to swim i don't care give me uh what i'm doing Up, 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 up. Where is it? Let me fly high. Seriously, I don't know. Damn it, it's not not gonna show me. <sighs> Is this the place? I don't know. Oh, underground harbor, yes. I guess we have to do it. We don't have a choice. Take me have a time to do it, but we need to do it. What I tried to say, take time, but we need to at so least. So this is the underground harbor. Rebellion. Uh. Huh. Underground harbor. The Grey Lady. <laughs> I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Uh huh. Oh, God damn it, my gear slot is fit full again. God damn it. Okay. Which one is I have to scan? Rebellion. I see that that face i see that thing hey no i have to go the other side damn it okay here probably rebellion ah over there God damn it. Alright. One down, one go. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the three broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Okay. Okay. I guess. But first. All right. One more. Yes, wandering around in the goddamn what I call it. You know, in the school at night, 
searching for something to learn a, a final spell. It's not final. I have two more spell. But yeah, two spell. One, one last assignment before. Yeah, I don't know. I just make out sound. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just make up word. Oh, this place is not restricted anymore. But it's okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. In the tippy top we go. Which one is gonna be the lucky number? That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. I see. Revelio. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to uh, uh get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. That should be fun. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? What do I know? I don't know! What is Quidditch? I don't know! Ah, the Golden... Ah... Uh, what is Quidditch? I don't know! The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by I don't a wizard know. named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, I don't know. to be extinct. Next question. Okay, Which potion come. is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Liquid? Luck? I don't know. Pepper up potion. I'm afraid the answer was Felix Felicis. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? What? Bounder. I'm not gonna. Horcruxes? No. The answer was the Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows there, consists actually. of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Well, I don't know. The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Huh? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. I don't know. I don't have that potion in my inventory. How do I know? True. Actually, the answer was false. While polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. No! And I won't be giving no, you any no. easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. No more! No more! I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Revelio! The Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. God damn it. Time to see her. 
and I for, don't remember where he, her ho, her office is. Uh, what do I know, Quiz? I'm not that smart. I'm an idiot. I'm not that smart. I really am an idiot. And I get lost again in this stupid place. Where is the way out? Oh, over there. Ah. Uh, I don't know anything about the spell, the charm, the potion. I watched the, the original Harry Potter show. But. Give me a random quiz like that. I don't know. There is a. Revelio. I don't know. What do I know is there is a treasure that I don't get. Right now, it's not important. I don't have enough space anyway. Professor Weasley! Where are you, Professor? Are you at your room? Ah. Oh. Unfortunately, we have to wait until night time, a daytime. I've been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Later, later. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Yo, learn new technique. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Yo, transformation. Yeah, I changed it a little butterfly. You know, a little, just a big little butterfly. I change into a butterfly. That's easy to work. Beautifully done. A butterfly. I change it. All right. Is it all? New technique. I don't know. I'm gonna use it or not. But yep. New technique. Professor Weasley. It's been a long time. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. The assignment has helped. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the Owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? Um... Um... I don't remember. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the okay. end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed.
Thank you, Professor. Yo, all Simon complete. Let's test this on an object. Where is it? Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. What? My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Okay. Let's check what we just get. A lot of things we need preparation for. Preparation. This is our preparation for the next trial. I don't know. Um. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to progress the story, but there is a lot of side quests. Let's talk with Sebastian. Speak with Sebastian in the you undercroft. Undercroft. We need to meet with Sebastian. Maybe this is just a little pet talk. Maybe, probably, I don't know. And I don't remember where is the undercraft. Exactly. Don't remember a thing. My 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 brain is already cooked. I forgot. Oh, it's just over here. Good to know. All right. Let's done with. We do a lot of psycho. We got do a lot of stuff. I hope you just make, just do a little pet talk. That's You'll all. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I know we had to do it to open the Scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I won't say a word. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave mm. this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I, uh, I fear. I, I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian. Then well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. 
Sebastian doesn't even realise it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Such a tragic loss. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. The spellbook give is giving <clears throat> giving Sebastian hope. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Thank you. Is that all? Yes. So next target in my agenda quest Let's do this three side quest and be done with it. The professor is her mother? My blowing. My blowing. Blues! This is blues! My blowing, my blowing! Okay, my little friend. Guide me! Where is it? Because I really don't know where is it. So there is no class for now. I don't know. Because we we finish all the assignment, we learn a, a lot of stuff. We learn the spell. We complete all the spell. We learn everything. But we still have a forbidden magic we need to learn. Sebastian is really going too far, but huh? but I don't know. I don't know going nice ag against him thing. against him can affect so the ending You wanted to speak with me mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned. But you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Awkward! So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. What? And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. What? What? I confused. What? Really confused. My my mind is blow right now. Don't tell me you're not human. Huh? Come on, give me some answer, please. 
How did you become an anima animus? Were you born an animagus? Or did you an learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Confused. My mind is blow. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. What does it feel like? How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. That's incredible. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Perhaps your mother is right. We can allow your mother to stop us. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Yeah, it's really awkward. My blowing ass. Ah, the cat moving. I wish the world can talk to the, the past mirror. What I call it? Pictures so they can remember. Now let's meet with Puppy. Now where is she gonna be? Don't tell me. God damn it. Wrong button. Why are you here, bro? Mind blowing, actually. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Mind blowing. This episode is mind blowing. I don't know, I can process it. Oh, inside. Glad you came. Hello. I just passing by. Over here. Hello, Poppy. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. 
Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. We should check on her. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Uh, it's to do with Rockwood. I read them not say it. Okay. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Yeah, I want to check the dragon too, man! I'll let you know when I have news of her location. That's it, that's a little bit that... I still got time. Sorona! Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I spoke with him. I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganweld potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> what does Mr... Brock have? Okay, I don't want... Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganweld potion on hand? Wiganweld potion. Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wiganweld potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity. What with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Okay. Why did you have your box of letters with the spot... Why did Mr. and Mrs. Spottle have your box Spottle. of letters after all this Spottle. time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. Ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I could try and stop stop by. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please oh. do give Dot my love. Um, okay. Let's go, I guess. I still got time. I cannot use my broom or... Hmm. Later, later. But... Where am I going? Come on, come on, come on. Faster, 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 faster. Run faster! After this, we're gonna fly! Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. 
Yes, wait, wait. Uh, you say that every time I came here. Every time you say the same thing. I still cannot use my broom. God damn it. Now I can use my boom. Let's go! Huh. Ah. Uh. Ah, up a Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Brottle? Are you f are you freaking kidding me? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I have, I have to be included. <clears throat> I have unlocked the fast travel here, but Not I sure don't use it. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would... get involved with Rockwood? Why would Bardolf want to Bardolf. get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. What if... Barok Bardoch doesn't want to be found? Do you think Bardolf may have simply Bardolf. run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Okay. Perhaps I can keep an eye out. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Does the mission continue? Where? Down here, the shop? No, it's not over there. Down, go down. Did he down, down, did he down? Man is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Yeah, maybe later. In the next video, maybe later in the next video. But first, let's just do this. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Damn it, what are you here? I guess I have no choice, am I? Okay. God damn it. The traffic is no talents.
Come on, come on. Is that Inferius wearing a woolly jumper? That must be Bardolph. Come on, come on. Let's go far away. Bye bye. See you. One wanna be a. Uh, see you later, alligator. Bye bye. Skeleton. Skeleton. Huh. It's like a place right out of a storybook. What are you ah, talking? Upper Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Upper Hello. Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp. I'm looking for no someone. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolph dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. What happened to your brother? How did your brother Bardolph end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolph had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolph refused. In their anger, they held him against the rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. Uh-huh. Where has the loyalists set up a camp? You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Mm. Why don't you live up uh, Highfield, Hogfield? Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. No, I, I defined it. It's not gonna help. I could run them out. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Why I keep? I do hope my brother is all right. Keep doing it this. Seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Yeah. Why I start a mission? I have to do a lot of thing and do a lot of thing. Such uh, arrogance. Thing and a thing thing. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Hello, brother. I have some problems. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I won't get Bombarder. Akio. Come on, come on. You will regret Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey. Come 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's enough, bro. One camp down, one more to go. Rebellion. Okay. Don't forget, you can ta vanish. Why I always forget? Okay, one down, one to go. An intruder! Good for your touch. Out of Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Die, die, die. Die, 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 die. die, die, die. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Die, die, die. Both camps cleared. Alan Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Return! Okay! I do a lot of things. I should pass pace popular what I could try to say. Pay a visit, but I have to do a lot of stuff. Ah, upper Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Brottle? She's over there. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? It was harrowing and they dug in their heels, but I managed. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. May I see your... Okay. I should be going now. Thank you. What am I Thank doing? Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. All right. New instruments are expensive, you know. Before I end the video, I get confused right now. Am I? Am I getting confused? No, I don't. I said I supposed to do this, this side quest. Why do a different side quest? Oh well, don't care. I do it off camera, maybe probably. Okay, I guess that's it. Okay, I guess that's it. We can end here. That was a decent video. We just have do a lot of prop work, <laughs> maybe, because we are preparing for a net test. Okay, we complete all the assignment. We rescue a dragon. Next, we're gonna return. He say. Uh, probably in the next video so yeah i'm gonna learn more of a forbidden magic from sebastian so yeah i guess that's it if you're new here subscribe to my channel follow me on twitter facebook and instagram if you're subscribe good for you and always i will see you in the next video peace bye 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 bye